What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another Innistrad draft here on the Plain of Ravnica. And Hunter is being real weird with the... You can see his butt right there. Look, there's Hunter's butt right there. <laughs> That's his little dog butt. I don't know what he's doing. I want to take this slime foot, though. You take Knight over slime foot? What are you, insane? What's wrong with you, dingus egg? And... Uh, call the cavalry is pretty good. Well, if you took a knight, it would go better with the call the cavalry. Maybe that's true. I don't care. Uh, it's got to be call here. Or we can be Sultai, and Tetsuko is actually pretty good at slime foot. Makes all the dudes uh, unblockable. Unbrockable. Um, it's either call or Tetsuko. Tetsuko is better for when we open Karn's Temporal Sundering. Or Phyrexian, Phyrexia, new Yogmoth's Vile Offering. Nailed it. One Tilt Buck. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate the Tilt Buck. Um, is this a good set to jump back into drafting? Yes. I think if you're familiar at all with drafting, this set's great. I'm going to take Call because I think it's a stronger card. Well, Call also goes with the Tefri we get past, right? They're both white or blue. I have you on mute, so if you could, if you could, you know, maybe physically act out your picks, that'd be great. No, I'll never do that. I'll never do that, you monster. Um, we're just going to take the Bailoth Gorger here. Also, Animus is good at Slimefoot. Kapow. Haven't played a single game of Magic since. Wow. Before Exelon? Actually, that's not too long ago. That's not very long ago. I am also pumped for Return to Return to Ravnica. If you open less the Fall of Thrans than me, you'll have fun. Um, I also have a good number of Fall of Thrans that have been opened. No joke there. Yeah, our drink today is a diet A and W root beer made with aged vanilla. So, you know, for those what? Who the hell? What? Three other people found cards better than a slime foot in their packs? I don't believe you. I don't think that's true. You could just can can get the hell get the hell right out of here with that nonsense. There is no way any of the players that were ahead of us were more committed to their first, second, or third picks than a slime foot. That's ridiculous. There were three uncommons in that pack, too? That's that's criminal. You people are monsters. Double slime footsies. That's correct. That is correct. Beautiful. Oh, and we get a Yargle too? My god. What a glorious day. I'll Yargle. Because someone's got to take that on Sarah's wings. Karn, Foil, Karn, and Icy Manips. Yeah. I guess those would be the three cards I would take over... Uh, over a slime foot. Uh, this pack is unexciting, but I will take a gift of growth, I suppose. That is a card I will play in my main deck. Oh, a grun? All right, I'll take a grun. Man, this is legendary dot deck. Unfortunately, both the white and the green uh, legendary sorceries are pretty terrible, so. <laughs> oh, 
how internet that's awesome that is fantastic how internet is there a way you can make these with the um with like the matrix green lines in the background because that's what i had the idea of i'm gonna take the broken bond here like the matrix like uh the numbers that are falling Oh, the Fall of the Ring came back. I'll just take Cross of Years. That card's playable. Um, I don't care about any of these cards. I want to take the Impulse because with like Double Slime Foot and a Grun, it might just be worth playing. Blessing actually seems main deckable in this thing. I'll take a glider. That seems fine. Eh, I'll take an envoy. This lets us splash call at least if we want to do that. All right, first pack. Um, other than the slime feet, pretty in the middle of the road, but still okay. Yep, still nothing. All right, song of Frailies it is. Song of Frailies with the uh, double slime feet seems good. Oh boy, unfortunate. Uh, Blessing has been great for me at the times I've been able to play it. I I think you're being a little critical right now. Blessing on like a Yargle is insane. Like gain 11 life? Sure. Seems good. We also have Grun. Like we have two very, very high, very, very, very high power legendary creatures here for that. It's also just only mildly worse than like another plus two, plus two pump spell. So. I like Shauna a lot here, but... I don't think we really want to be the third color. I don't think there's a reason for it. Blessed Light's also very good because we don't have any removal right now. I think Thalid is the least exciting but probably most consistent of the picks we can take here. I want to take the Thalid because I think we can get other other black removal pieces. This pack is just really bad. I'm almost, I'm almost Hinterland Harbor bound just because I don't care about any of these other cards. Partic Wander, maybe? I'm just taking the land. At least it lets us splash a blue card if we get one that we care about. This is another terrible pack. I'll take a Divest, I guess. Man. What is the deal? All right, I'll take another Gorger. We're all the green and black cards. We're getting cut hard, which is weird because we got past S Slimefoot. I mean, I'd rather I'd rather take a Divest than a red removal spell because Divest actually does a similar thing. Like you can just take the creature before they cast it, which is totally fine. Welcome to Dominaria Draft. If you don't open Karn Lyra Tefer like Frank, you're gonna have a bad time. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Good lord. Oh, there's the Jota we've always wanted. I'm gonna take this Spore Swarm because it's exactly what we're looking for. I'll take Call of the Cavalry out. I don't feel like splashing this one lone white card. Song of Frailies and Spore is pretty good. Hmm. Actually, we could just take Stronghold Confessor. This guy's fine. Oh, Woodland Cemetery. On color, dual land. Seems good. Spore Swarm is quite nice. I almost feel like this isn't terrible. The funny thing about this card is that it's a legendary sorcery, so you actually have to control a legendary creature to return your other legendary creatures. I don't think that's where we want to be. You know what would really set this deck up, Karn? I agree with you. 
I am on board, sir. Oh, a cross android. That's a card I'll play. Yeah, that is what I like about the the dual lands. Like they do, they do end up increasing in value very, very slowly eventually. Um, so I could see just holding on to those guys rather than selling them for fourteen cents each. Eh, feral abomination is whatever. What up, David? And planes. Two planes, huh? That's got to be a sign for something, right? Nope, just a Lich's Mastery. <laughs> oh, God. I, I like that you can watch my Dominaria drafts and they're solely a progression of me literally losing my mind. I actually, ooh, Splashing Tatiova seems good off of our Hinterland Harbor. And we have a Llanowar Envoy. That seems better than Eviscerate, to be quite honest. I bet we'll get another Eviscerate. I bet you we will. This seems like more up my alley, especially because we have Blessing, so it's just a better... One, two, three, four, five. This is a five five legendary deck right now. Uh Tatio no, I do not think Tatio would come back. Oh, Torgar. That's not terrible. This might be a Torgar deck. Yeah, probably better than fungal infection. We can make slime feats. And we got spores. We got song. All right, let's do it. I'm in. This is definitely a Yawgmoth's Fire Offering deck. One, two, three, four, five, six legendary creatures. Yeah, I don't know where the sap hearts and the migrations are, but they are not here, which is sad. Oh, another Spore Swarm, though. Oh, there's a Sapperd. Is Sapperd better than Spore Swarm? I don't think so. Maybe? I think Spore Swarm is better with Song. Spore is instant, but it also costs four instead of three. I mean, I think it is Spore Swarm. We can also get another sap herd potentially. We can't we might not get another spore swarm. Eldest Reborn seems legit. I like Thalid Omnivore, but I'd rather have the Eldest Reborn here. Especially because we have a bunch of good dudes. Ah, uh, foil Eldest Reborn, no less. This is gad. This deck's looking sweet. Dreadshade. Is this guy good enough to play? Actually, splashing an Arvad seems pretty cool. Can we do that off of one Llanowar Envoy? Gideon's Reproach, too. Arvad seems great in this deck. Slime Feet become big. Tatiova becomes big. I mean, this is almost as hard to this is almost as hard to cast as I'm gonna take the Arvad because we already have Song. Yeah, I think that's a good choice. Oh, double fungal infection. Okay. I'll take the foil fungal infection. It'll make a foil sapperling, which is pretty cool. I mean, we're just gonna get an isolated chapel before uh, before the draft is over to splash the the Arvad off of. Artificer? What's artificer? I feel like there are a lot of artificers in this format. This is like the most Thran Temporal Gateway deck I've ever had. 
One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten different legendary cards we can put into play with this. Historic cards, rather. It also makes Torgar cost four, Grun cost four. It does help our splash colors. I'm gonna take. I'm gonna take it, but I, I'm, we're probably not playing it. Oh, another fungal infection. I like Pierce the Sky, but fungal infection just seems better with double slime feet. I'll probably cut something for that. Oh, Lich's Mastery came back. I do like Dark Bargain though. Oh, fungal infection number thrice. Ancient Animus. All right, we got all the cards we wanted back. So now the cuts need to be made. Okay, Frail Abomination can come out. You're pretty underwhelming. Stronghold Confessor, you're also underwhelming. I'll take the second die best. Glider, I don't care about. And Corrosive Ooze is kind of meh. I think we can sideboard Corrosive Ooze. We also, I don't know if I care about growth. I kind of do. This is 12, but also 13, 14. Seems fine. I could see even playing Soul Salvage with the, the quality of creatures here. Do we want Gift? What's Gift? Yeah, I guess we could actually cut Gift because we do have Blessing. I forgot about Blessing real quick. Um, all right, Woodland comes in. Hinterland Harbor comes in. I'm going to add a Plains, and I'm adding one of these. So this is 7, 8, 9. We're probably down to 8 here. 6, 7, 6, 7, 8. So this is 8, 8, 1, 8, 8, 2, 1. That seems great. That's a, that's a healthy mana base right there. Um, I almost like Soul Salvage better than Gift here. It's like, just getting back... A slime foot and a and a Tatiova or something, or even like a Crosan Druid to gain the life is pretty gas. Gateway in for the memes? Oh boy, you guys are speaking my language. That seems bad though. Anyone who's saying blessing is bad is has never has never actually played a blessing in their deck. They're just looking at it and being like, "This is a bad card." I've played blessing multiple times with high legendary count creatures, and and the, the card is just fantastic at pulling you ahead and gaining life that you need. Yeah, I want to put the soul salvage in here. I can also see divest because it it helps us deal with creatures that it might not have an answer to. Okay, fair enough. I've never actually cast it. Yeah, it's actually very good. Like there, especially like we have Yargle. Like Yargle's just a fun card, and making it an eleven four and gaining eleven life with Life Link is just insane. There's definitely matches I don't need Broken Bond. Like in every match, you're gonna have combat situations. In almost every match, you're gonna want to gain some amount of life, and. Uh, only some matches you're gonna like, want to destroy an artifact or an enchantment. So I mean, like blessing is never dead. Broken bond is sometimes dead. So we can actually just lead with this, and both of these going to play untapped. Then we're just basically playing constructed, right? This is actually a trade, which is fine. I 
I mean, I don't think there's a reason for it that we have a Crossand Druid to just do it. Druid! No blocks when we have double fungal infection in hand. I'm good. Okay. Yargle, I've come to bargle. Wow, Scrollmonger, that is epic. Don't play a legendary thing. Combat happens every day. Do you mind if I bargle? <laughs> that was a good deal. Two of on trappers for two fungal infections. That's a good trade. Wow, this is like tiny tiny boys dot deck over here. Sacrifice a gentleman. Here comes Lyra. They're going to be like, land Lyra. Or it's going to be like, never fails. Or they just play like Karn. Tiny boys dot deck. Yeah, look at our little sappy. Oh, they they got the tiny boys. Look. All the tiny boys. Oh, I see. Shenanigans are afoot. Well, I mean, if you got, like, Adamant Will, 4-4, four, four, yeah, whatever. I'll trade my guy for an Adamant Will. Or a Fervent Strike. That seems fine. That's terrible, but I accept. It's a good card. Interesting. Idiots for Tricks is the name of my uh, my after school program that I've started. It's a magician program for the uh, the kids who aren't doing so well. All right, so now we know they don't have tricks. Otherwise, Yargle would have gotten some some bargaining. Um, drew a gorger. One, two, three, four, five, six. <sighs> Might just be unicorn here. I like the life gaining potential of this unicorn at some point, especially if we can make it large, large and in charge. Gideon's reproach on your yoggle, sir. No? Just play this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, we can actually take a hit and spore swarm. This is the eldest unicorn. It was reborn. That's a good card. I'm a fan of your short sword. You think Trapper is underrated? I think Trapper goes in every single deck that people have.
Well, golly gee. Well, golly gee, mister. If they had a trick, wouldn't they have blocked and killed our Yargle? And if they had Sword last turn, they would have played that. So... Alright. Sure. Sappy boys for life. Blessing of Bells and Lock. Oh. Oh, I see. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm dead. Boy. I'm interested. I'm, in I'm intrigued by this. Is your hand run amuck adamant will? Because you have to have plus three, so it's got to be run amuck here. But if you have run amuck, like we go to one, so I'm just gonna block. Like I'll trade, I'll trade run amuck for this guy. That's totally fine. Especially because then you die, I believe. Oh, all right. Well, would have drawn a land into a dark bargle. Okay. Okay. Let's bring in this corrosive ooze. That guy seems pretty, pretty OP. Texican, glad you can catch me live. Really appreciate it. Appreciate the dedication to doing so. Remember that time we were at 300 subs? Man, memories. I'll keep this hand. Any land that we can play this guy, any green, and we're in good shape. It's not a green. Uh, the only card we saw that Broken Bonds hits is Short Sword. So I don't know. I, I think you might have an obsession with Broken Bonds. Kind Buds, I think you might be a little... Oh, shield I don't care about, though. I'm not going to bring in a card. I'm not going to bring in a sideboard card for a card I actually don't mind at all. I feel like if we draw land next turn, going Spore Swarm into Song is pretty nuts. This guy brings a sword to a Song fight. <laughs> oh, I'm a fan. See, now I can probably bring a Broken Bond in because of this idiot, but... I'm also tempted to go block, block, because that's only two dudes. And then we get one back anyway, so we still untap with three dudes. We go one, two, we have five. I mean, or alternatively, we can just ignore it. We can we can chump block it with this guy, make four dudes, and we'll have five dudes. That's five, six, seven, seven things. So we can go cast, cast. Yeah, I'm fine with that, actually. I don't think this Juggernaut's really a card we're too concerned with. Also, if we get a land, it's significantly better, I believe, right? Four, five, six, seven. No, I guess it's not that much better. Let's 
So we have seven mana, so we can actually just go Slimefoot and make a guy, which is just probably more efficient mana usage than Lanawar Envoy. So we make a guy. We'll take, actually, I'll just take 10 here, to be quite honest with you. And then we'll have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 mana, which we can go 5 drop, 5 drop. Actually, I'm pretty sure we can just jump block here. Preventing 6, uh, because we'll still have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. It's still pretty good. Why is red on top? That's weird. Yeah, song is pretty insane. That is not going to do it. These guys are all pretty big, but they don't really do much. You have Shivan Fire and you're just thinking about what to use it on? Okay. One, two. Why is this guy blacked out? <laughs> what is this? Why is it white, blue, black, green, and then red on top? What the hell? Why does it look like that? Six, seventy nine, ten plus five. That's a lot of damage. I probably just want to play Yargle and Lanawar Envoy. Or I guess we could play these and just chump I could just block with, with Arvad. This is 15, so they have to have, like, Pump Spell, Removal Spell. And we'd still actually have Yardle, so... And this guy becomes big enough to block the Kelden Raider, so that's pretty cool. Dormammu, I've come to Yargle. Oh my god, blessing, let's do it. 14. Oh, I can no longer block you profitably. I might just block with Arvad here. I don't like... Because this is 15 damage, and that's pretty scary. I'd rather just block here. I'll take 10 instead of 15. Gain 3? Okay. If they run amok here... This is 8, so we take 5, 10. We still take 15, but we gain 3. So we go to 5. Even double run amok doesn't kill us, though. Yeah, as long as this resolves, I think we're uh, I think we're pretty okay. We can also play Torgar first, right? And like just deal them 9. Oh, that's incredibly sad. We do need a second black, though, unfortunately. Oh, found it. <laughs> okay. Well, that's pretty juicy. Um, so this guy costs, what, six, seven, eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, and we can just sacrifice one dude. Um... Cast...
So you take six from this guy by itself if you double block. That should be the game. Or four, rather. So, yeah, this is Xaxes, right? They go double block here. They take four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect Xaxes. That's actually worse. Now you go to negative one. Don't forget about their trample. Grats, bye. <laughs> oh, that was funny. All right. Our deck is sweet. Sometimes you got to use all the legends. That's like all parts of the buffalo. Was it 20 in one turn? I thought they were at 17. Or they were at 19, right? Yeah, it's okay. It was only 19 in one turn. Let's not exaggerate. I will play first. Uh, I will keep this hand every day of the week. Every single color. Three, four, and five. Deal. Oh, they did go to neg one, so we did deal 20 in one turn. Touche. Good point. I hope the spicy jalapeno children would approve of this deck because, you know, don't we really do it for them? Sing us a song of your sapling men. This is the song of my people. Oh, uh, the white is for Arvad. Arvad the Cursed. Is, I think that's his name. Two drop. Or fungal infection. Or I'll never know. Or Yargle. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. Also, Eldest Reborn with Slimefoot's pretty good. Even if they kill our best creature, we can get a back our best creature which is pretty pretty bonkers oh I kind of want to just wait here give me a thing I can do I almost want to just wait to fungal infection this guy I guess we can actually just make a guy and next turn Eldest Reborn. Like, if we're able to make a guy and deal with the creature they have on board as opposed to just playing out a Gorger early, I think it's probably best to make a guy. But Eldest Reborn also doesn't seem great because then they can just sack this guy. We can also Fungal Infection and Baloth Gorger next turn. I really hate playing Fungal Infection, though. It's just a waste of three mana. I'm going to cast this guy. I want to just put more pressure on the board. Next turn we can make a guy in Fungal Infection, which is just fine. Yeah, I'm not a big Elders Reborn fan here either. Just be... Oh, I see. I don't care about that at all, really. Oh, heavens. Well, that's a good mana usage. I will deal you eight, good sir. <laughs> I 
<laughs> Never mind, just kill them now. Finish it. Oh, no blocks, huh? A bold strategy, Cotton. Okay. So they go to five and they make a five five. Okay. Deal. Exile's fine. I don't really care. We'll manage. And that's how we do it, I guess. All right. Deck seems good. It's good. Um, What did we see? We saw like two cards. We saw Chainer's Torment, Blessing, and the 3-1. The 3-1 matches up pretty well against our Triple Fungal Infection. I don't think we're Broken Bonding yet, just because they have that. Eh, maybe we are. This is a deck where you can easily just play a 41st card. Because you have triple fungal infections for uh, early stuff. You have Song of Freelies to help out with the mana. So, I think it's fine. I actually am citing this in because I just don't want to deal with, like, if they, if we're not in a bad shape, like... You're clearly like, <laughs> nice. Nice. Um... What was I saying? Oh, I don't actually think Ch Chainer's Torment is that great, but if we don't have an answer for like a 12-12, which our deck actually doesn't have many of, um, I kind of just want to get out of the way. Whereas, like, if our opponent just played a short sword, I probably wouldn't care as much. Oh. <sighs> yeah. Stretch City. Keep the sand. Can we live the dream one time? Oh my god. Oh my god. As long as we hit them lands. Ooh. Can we gain 10 from this and gain 11 from this? Please, one time. Multiple times. Many, many times. Oh my god. Uh, Divest only hits artifacts and creatures, so I don't know why we'd be bringing that in. The only creature we saw was a 3-1. Just run out slime footems. No blocks. No blockums. No blockum sockum robots. I will cast this gentleman, though. Should have attacked first and kept up uh, Fungal Infection, though. But. Skull and V. I assume you'll get there. I have faith in you, buddy. Did you just Blessed Light my Gorger? Wow, that was rude. Well, I feel much safer about the... Uh, the Yargle coming in now. So we just have to, like, survive a turn, I guess? Fingers crossed they don't have any shenanigans. Also, six mana is good because we can go Blessing, Fungal, and make a guy, which is very efficient.
I'll just take it and assume you don't have admin will. Yeah, all right. Safe. Oh, God. I'm starting to cry right now. So close. Never didn't have it. Artifact or creature. Sure, you got it. Enjoy. That's a good one. Why did it take you that long to decide to play that? <laughs> Here's a card that wins me the game next turn. I don't know what to do with it, though. It's got to be another land. Oh, that's actually reasonable, except this is a 5-5, and we're just dead. Yeah, might as well. Might as well get in there. Try to gain some life. Blocks here. Go to six. Sure. Da -da -da, go back to five. Seems good. Now you got a four four. Can you kill me? Probably. Nope. You just got a million floaters, and I'm gonna draw another slime foot, which is not very good when you only have creatures on board. That's not very good. I'm just gonna take a damage, and then you can't play my spell because it was a legendary creature that I had another one of. Vanish Animus would have been significantly better because we could have played it on this guy and shot this guy and at least traded. Then we could have played another slime foot, but we didn't do that. That's really sad. Now I'm bringing in the vest. Faux show. Take out the broken bond. <laughs> I'm glad you guys like that. Yeah, take out soul signage. Bring in the vest. All right. Oh, I like Envoy because don't forget we're playing four colors, so I don't want to mess that up. <sighs> hey, we got a divest and then four green four drops. How does this deck lose? Well, you see, like this. Okay, I accept. Uh, bottom, unfortunately. Oh, that hand was not meant to be. Not meant to be. Oh, that's friggin' obnoxious. 
yeah, big surprise. All right, we're getting close to this dark bargle. Sure. Not close enough, it seems. This is one of the unfor those unfortunate games where I don't actually feel like we lost to our deck being worse. I feel like we lost to our, uh, well, our draws. I don't think we have the luxury to like let this guy keep floating over for four every turn. Land! That's all we wanted. All right, now we can just Dark Bargle at the end of the turn. I will take two. And then you'll play a Sarah Angel, and I'll be like, boy, I wish my Beck had a way to deal with that. Oh, he didn't do it. All right. Put two cards into your hand. I like Arvad in my hand. We have Song. I also like Land. I think it's Divest and Arvad here. I don't care as much about the island because we have Song of Frailies. So let's see what you got. You didn't play a creature last turn, which is weird. Oh, but I'll... Sh oh, your your cards are Funnel Infection on Sarah's Wings and Eldest Reborn. Okay. Seems good. It's a solid draw. That's the worst draw we could have possibly had, I think. Now we just take six. All right, I'm actually not sure what we can actually hit here. <sighs> that is unfortunate. So yeah, your hand basically wouldn't have had any anybody deal with a slime foot if you didn't have it to best. We could have just been making guys and then eventually Song of Frailies make a bunch of guys. Um, which would have been, I don't know, pretty strong. Swamp. I don't know why you didn't play the Swamp. Like, I knew the cards in your hand. Weird. I mean, we take five here. We're on a two-turn clock, and we don't have a legendary creature to gain life, so... Sure. Yep. Yeah, we're just gonna go to the next game. And by next game, I mean next match. That's unfortunate. Um, I'm pretty sure our deck was better, but... I mean, their deck was good. Incoming our first Karn? When are we getting that? I've been waiting for... I'm about 40, 40 drafts in now, and I'm still waiting, so... Did you set a 300 sub goal? Um, I set it a while ago. My sub goal was 300 ages ago. <laughs> oh, kind buds. Good times. I will keep this hand. Oh, Smile Lines, congrats. Oh, no Remac, congrats. You guys are both scholars. Oh, I, I have no idea what to set as a goal when I reach 300 subs. I have no idea what to do for stuff like that. I've brought this up countless times where I'm just like, I don't know what to do. I've opened zero Karns. 
I'm gonna syncopate this guy? Sure. Look at your little bird. I too have this guy. Yeah, I don't like I don't like alternating drafts with uh sets like this because then you just end up with a completely unplayable pile of garbage. Um at least in um at least in cubes, like your cards are strong enough on their own so that you can combine them and just put a bunch of basics in and you still have a bunch of of, of really strong cards. Um, unfortunately, in a format like this, you just literally end up with a bunch of trash cards. Like, the cards are good, but if you don't have a cohesive deck, you just have a bunch of random cards that you hope you get the lands for. So it's a lot harder to do that that stipulation when it's not a, a cube format. Three, build a deck with all three hundred of your giants and letting infernos. That's a good. That's a good plan. I get. I can get behind that. Oh, all right. Um, interesting. I guess we'll just get rid of Yargle here. Fungal. Yeah, I'm going to play Grun. I have a plan of Crossan Druiding at some point. I would have liked to hit the land here, but I wanted a land, but then we just discard a land. We just drew a land anyway, so whatever. Still gets us closer to... Oh, second Calico Skin Witch. Caligo. Caligo Skin Witch, not Calico Skin Witch. That's... It's not like the cat. No blocks. Spore Swarm. Fungal Infection? Sure. What are we getting back? 100% Arvad. Mm, makes sense. Reasonable block. And next time we're just going to play Cross Android to gain a million life, ideally. Our board seems good right now. I don't know. Sure. Kind buds, don't feel bad about watching the YouTube videos without subbing. Don't worry about that. I do appreciate it whenever you guys are on YouTube and watching and then you come over to Twitch and sub. That's super awesome. But if you ever can't do that, no big deal. 
I mean, I understand. It was a tough scry. That's a pretty good one. You've got to pray just to make it today. And that'll do. Josh, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Really appreciate it. I did not miss it. I was just uh, deep in thought here. Apologies for that, buddy. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. That is awesome of you. As someone who already supports me a ton, as it, uh, already. I'm going to bring in one divest just because we saw some birds that we'd rather... We can also see their counter spells. One thing I do is we're just disable ad blocker. It actually I do. I mean, little stuff like that. Disabling ad blocker for Twitch is definitely helpful. I do appreciate that. Oh, I just have that block for just like three years ago. Oh, look at this. We get to divest and we get to spore swarm a bunch. And then we're going to get draw song of the dryads. I can wait on this. I will play it now, though, because I don't know if we're going to draw... Our odds of drawing a 3-drop or something that we can play next turn is higher. Clown. Divination, Rite of Bells Unlock, and Syncopate. Interesting. Well, I took your bird. Do you divination here? That is the question. Apparently you do. Well, I just play Swamp. Okay. That is one lonely king. This could be problematic. So they played another swamp, right? Okay. So we know you have Island Syncopate and four other cards. Yeah, not thrilled about this. Pray, pray, pray. We've got to pray just to make it today. We know they've syncopated, so. I assume you don't have this island anymore. Let we'll the beatdowns commence. Oh, uh, I actually don't know the secret. I think I got back surgery about 10 years ago, and apparently. Um. When you get anesthesia from from like a surgery like that, it 
prematurely graze you, so I would suggest getting getting put under and having anesthesia. That would be my suggestion. I'll take Island and Lana were envoy, I guess. So long, my friend Yargle. Syncopate for all the marbles. Eighteen surgeries. Good lord. That's a good amount, my friend. So, let's get rid of one, I think. What are the odds this guy resolves? Zero? Four, so they could have paid seven. We could have went two. Sacrifice two more guys. Sacrifice one more guy. At no point we would have had enough. So, cool. Oh, I didn't want to reel my hand, but the friggin' button moves, so it's actually hot trash. Um, Broken Bond is fine. That's cool. Look at my whole hand. Seems good. Take out Soul Salvage. Yeah, we still haven't even drawn Tatiova yet. That's really sad. No, oh, this is for all the marbles. Couple, couple two ones today, maybe. Couple of two ones, two one boys.
I don't know what the hold up here is. I try to do a hold on one second. I tried to do a today junior, but it didn't work because I had to There we go. There we go. Yeah, this hand seems fine. It's not exciting. It's not quick. It does what we want it to do though, so I'll deal with it. All right, I think we're good. Oh, sorry, door. No problem, I'll give him the old NP. All right, well they have two syncopates, we know that. Our hand has got Yargle and Grun. How many more thick boys do you need? Our hand is missing some some slender boys, some thin boys. I'll play these guys at a time where you can't syncopate me. Also, we got the blessing Yargle boy. It's your Yargle boy. Boy, he's thick. Boy, that's a thick ass boy. Damn. The Yargle Bunch. If we draw a land, we're probably just playing Grun. I mean, they're probably bouncing Yargle, so... They might just bounce Sapperling because they want to block Yargle. I don't know. Gain 400. That's cool. That's cool, bro. Yeah, that's just smarter. That's just smart magic right there, boy. That's very good. <sighs> Swamp would be great because then we can actually play Slime Foot, attack with everybody, uh, Fungal Infection if we want to. Just going to keep dropping Yargs. The Yargle Bunch. Oh, that's actually fine. I don't care about that. Discard Broken Bond now. <sighs> Slimefoot's pretty epic. So is Grun. Dang it. Come on, dude. The trick doesn't do us any 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 favors here other than uh, gaining 11, which is great, but I'd rather just play Slimefoot when we can actually resolve it. I 
Plus, on a grunt, it's also just very, very good. So. Island lets us play Grun and then lets us play Tatioa plus any land we hit, which is great, but they have four cards, so. Damn boy, that's a thing. I'm pretty sure we're just passing. Like, there's no reason to give them value on their syncopates if they have syncopates, and we can just death we can just make a guy with Death Bloom Thalid. Or make a guy with uh, slime foot rather. I feel like they have, uh, like, two syncopates in hand right now. Just keep playing lands. Take four each turn. It's pretty good. It's a reasonable clock. Now take five each turn. Hmm. Might as well death. Oh, interesting. That was not a syncopate. I don't know what's going on. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, that's fine. He's still dead. One on the bottom, one on the top, sure. That has no value whatsoever right now, so. Everybody in the red zone. Good games. So you even go block here, block here, you take three. Right, we have Blessing for this guy. I can't imagine you have a counter spell. Um, let's try a Blessing here. We could have killed him with this plays around any kind of trick. If, I, I'm assuming they have a trick, and I'd much rather uh, try to keep. I guess it doesn't. I don't know if it, I don't know if that's better or not. Like I, I don't think there's a way they can actually win. And two. Well. All right, seems good. Thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you guys enjoy the content and you want to support me on on Patreon, where I have new content coming out regularly, uh, check out the link below. And it's in the description. Slam those like and subscribe buttons, and I'll see you guys next time.